Hi everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to the Independence Day event. I am Beth Edgman and I am so thrilled that Victoria asked me to be a part of this event. Um, I am just a second early, so I know everybody will be popping on here in just a second. Hi, Tammy. How are you? Welcome, welcome to the Independence Day event. Hi, Pat. How are you guys? How is everybody today? Hi, Shauna. How are you? Welcome. Hi, Jan. Um, shared a video. Yep, I got shared in, I believe. Hi, Jan. Hi, Joan and Susan and Luana. How is everybody today? I hope you all are doing really well. Um, okay, I'm going to have to go run turn my fan off. I thought I could make it work, but because I was a little warm, but I can't. So excuse me for five seconds while I get my fan on. All right, I'm back. I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. Hello, Nora. Hi, Nancy. Hi, Diana. Hi, Angie. Hey, Charlie girl. How is everybody today? Welcome to the Independence Day, my segment on the Independence Day event. Uh, thanks to Victoria for having me. Um, you guys that watch me often know I'm not much in events these days. I kind of took a step back. Um, but I love Victoria so much, and when she asked me, I was like, okay, okay, I'll do it for you. Um, hello, Chris. Hello, Lois and Sandra. Thank you, Brookie, for dropping the link. Um, I am Beth Edgman, for those of you that don't know, and I am the Crafty Edge. Hello, Marjorie. How are you? Hello, Sharon and Blanca. I am the Crafty Edge. My name is Beth Edgman. I live in Oklahoma, and I love to junk. I am a... Junkaholic, I love to thrift. I love to make things over that I find uh, with all of you. I do a lot of shopping through shopping with you, and then we redo it together. Um, so those of you that don't know, hi, Deborah. Hello, hello. Hello, Carol Bro Oh, Carol Bork is free. She's free. She's free. Hi, Lynette. Hi, Becky. Hi, Jody Christensen. Hello, my lovely friends. How is everybody? I'm trying really hard not to lose my voice, but it may, it may not work out for me, but we'll see. Hi, Dee. Hi, everybody. Hi, Susan and Sheila. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, Brookie, will you keep my time? I have one hour to complete my project. Um, this is the Independence Day event. We will go back live on the Crafty Edge after this is over, so we'll stop this live, then we'll start over again, and we'll do another couple projects together, at least one project together. Um, I do feel okay. I've been resting a lot today. I shared thank you so much. Um, Regina, hello. Hello, Chris. Carol, good to see you are out. Hi, Jackie Miles. Hello, Beth. They make neck fans. You might try Amazon. I actually have one, Bobby, Bobby, Bonnie. I have one. Hi, Cindy and Maria and Katie Hall and Kathy Davis Falls. So, Guys, I don't know if y'all remember when I bought this. Um, you know I've been wanting to do a guitar. And I found this metal guitar at a thrift store. I don't even know which thrift store. I've already painted the back of it. So I am going to do the back of it and the front of it. So we have one hour. So i got to work. I can't do a lot of talking. i got to do a little. A lot of working too. Hi, Deanna. Loved your pool. Loved my pool. I don't know who she's talking to. Oh, thank you, Lori Ramirez. Um, making it with Mimi. Hi, Sassy Sisters. Not sure how long I'll be on. I'm at work. Audra, hello, hello. Um, we're just happy you're here at all, girl. We'll take whatever we can get. Hi, Dahlia. Um, thank you. Thanks. I dug through my closet. I was like, oh, my gosh, I know. I used to have the coolest Fourth of July hat. I'm assuming I've gotten rid of it. They are, when you live in the country, fireworks do start a week ahead. Um, so we have had fireworks going, so my little dog 
is up here because she does not like them. So she is right up under my feet. So if you hear her whining, that's what it is. It's because the fireworks. They're not doing it anymore, but she doesn't believe that they're going to stop. So she doesn't take any chances. Um, this, uh, all right, my Indian outlaw. Uh, oh, is Sissy in the house? Hi, Sarah. Yes, thank you. I do feel better. I do. I do feel better. And um, I, I'm not 100%. And my voice is kind of giving out a little bit here and there. And I really haven't even used it that much today. I have been in bed a lot today. Um, I did have Katie Girl. So she laid in there with me and played on her, her iPad and did her thing. And um, I was like, okay, that sounds like a plan to me, girl. Sounds like a plan to me. Okay, so I did get these napkins from several different people, and I'm going to use this on the back as my guitar, and then I'm going to do something on um, different over on the deal. I'm just doing the back because we have an hour, and I thought, why not? You know, we might as well. We might as well. Um, I'm going to take a little bit of the, the top part of this off because I don't need it. And uh, I want to make sure I have room. I really want the flowers more than I want the the um, the checks. Hello, hello, everybody! Welcome, welcome to the Independence Day event. My medium of choice is my plaster uh, liquid wax mats, and you can get it from Plaster Paint Company. It is my favorite medium. It is what I decoupage with. So if you are new to my page. And you're wondering what I'm using. That is what I'm using. I love it for many reasons. Uh, mostly because it, it's fast to work with. It has a built-in sealer. Let me see which way this is going to go. The guitar's going to go that way. So I'm going to do the flowers on the top and the flowers on the bottom. Um, so we're just going to lay this down. And then I'm going to take off what I need to take off. And then I'm going to add the same thing to the other side. And then we're going to do I Love America on this side. And then we're going to switch around and we're going to start working on the other side. I did take some elements off of another 4th of July piece that I didn't love. and uh, But I liked some of the elements on it. So I took it off. And I was like, that's okay. Because I, um, I can use those parts and not the parts I don't like. So it, it worked out great. Um, does the liquid wax dry stiff or is it flexible? Jody, it is flexible. I mean, it depends on what you use it on. It's not stiff. I mean, it's like a thinner version of Mod Podge, pretty much. It's not, um, it's just, it's a really not, it just, and it's, I don't know what to say. I don't know if stiff is the right word. It's just, it's down, and it's down good once it's down. If that's what you're asking, then um, I'm going to go with the answer is yes. Maybe it is stiff. I haven't really paid attention to whether it's stiff or not. I don't really, t I mean, I don't know. I don't really feel a lot of the stuff I do after. Like, I'm just, you know, once it's done, it's done. If is it crunchy, if that's what you're asking, I'm going to go with no. It's not crunchy. Um, but it is down, and it, it is great. You, you, you will never go back if you ever use it, I promise. Unless you have two, something thicker or something like that that you need Mod Podge for, you will never use it again. Hello, Karen. Hello, Sharon. Hello, Sharon. Hello, Luann. Welcome to the Crafty Edge. Guys, if you are not following the Crafty Edge, I would appreciate it so much if you would follow us. It would mean a lot to me. Um, I am just adding this to the back of my guitar. I'm making an Independence Day guitar. I've been wanting to do a guitar, and I found this. And the second that I learned that I was going to be in this event, this has been what I was going to do the whole time. Um, now, I had no idea what I was going to do to it, but I did know that when I did the event, this was going to be part of it. Um, hello, Sandy Seal. Uh, choices, all choices of creator. Um, hello, Melissa. Hello, Susan. I love this medium. I promise you. And the thing I love, the, one of the things I love the most about it 
is that it is a, um, it literally is, um, I just need a little bit on this end, and so I'm going to just take this section to it. Um, it literally is a sealer, so it seals your products as you do them. You do not have to add any more sealers. Mod Podge is not a sealer unless you buy the, the Mod Podge that is a sealer. Not all Mod Podge is a sealer. Not all Mod Podge is a sealer. Um, so, and guys, there's a lot of options out there nowadays in, um, in Mod Podge sealers. Uh, they've come a long way since the time of Mod Podge. So, open your minds and try it. Try it. So, this is going to be the back of our guitar, one side of it. Now, I'm going to go to the other side. Hello, Melissa. Hello, sprinkle the set. Spread the sass. Yes, caring is sharing. And please make sure you're following me and uh, Crafting with Victoria and all of the wonderful um, people that have been in this event today. Go back and check it out. Uh, they all worked really hard, and um, I know that um, you will enjoy those. Asking for canvas types, such things like tennis shoes. Perfect for tennis shoes. Perfect. Um, I will tell you when you put your hats, it does make them a little stiff. But I'm telling you, Mod Podge is going to do the same thing. I'm going to make them stiff. Not any stiffer. That's a pretty napkin. Thanks, Patty. Um, don't forget, guys, if you have... Um, already ordered your um, Rita Rims. If you need for your 4th of July parties, if you need that link, let me know. It's not too late to get those ordered. Um, it's getting close to being too late, but not quite. Yes, Jody, it will work on tennis shoes, canvas, wicker, wood, all of the things. Yeah, all the things. It will work. In fact, we've talked about doing a pair of canvas tennis shoes in the um, private group. In the private group, we have thought about doing that. Um, hello, love it. Oh, thanks. This is the back of the guitar. I have a lot of sweet ladies on here, and they really like me to finish my stuff. And um, uh, most things, I am very open to doing that, too. Um, I really do like things to be finished uh, and look good for when I sell it. I want it to be, you know... I want it to be good and done and everybody be happy with what they get. Now, this is the part that you want to make sure um, you are. So, I need to take one more line out. One more line out, I believe, of this. I might need to take it below. I think I'm going to take it below the blue. Below the blue. Below the blue. I do use a water pen. If you don't have a water pen, don't fret about it. You can use a paintbrush to get the same results. The same results. Don't fret one bit about that because you can get the same results with a paintbrush. I'm trying to, to level this out as best I can. Um, I want it to be matchy-matchy. So I'm going to lift this up this way, and I'm going to go underneath here with my liquid wax mat. I prefer the mat. They do have, um, they have the mat, and they also have the gloss. So um, they have superior top coats. They have many, 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 many things um, as far as mediums go and top coats go and all the things. So you just find what works for you and what you like. I use both, depending on what I'm doing. I definitely use both. Um, sometimes I want things to be shiny. Uh, for example, my horse, I definitely used my liquid wax to put it on with, and then I went back over it with a top coat, and it turned out perfect. I'm gonna just make sure that's laid down nice and neatly. Um, I have a little bit of a lip right here that needs a little touch of napkin, so I'm gonna have a little extra so I can just go right back in and add it. Nice thing about patterns is it doesn't get too crazy sometimes. It makes it kind of easier in a lot of way, ways. The busier the pattern, the better. Um, the easier it is to match up and make it the best you can. And if you can't get it exact, 
it's going to be so busy that the eye sees the total pattern. It really doesn't get caught up in um, all the things that, that it should, you know, like that might be not there. Does that make sense? So if you have to mix match, it's not going to be as obvious. I'm so happy to be in this event. I love 4th of July. I love this country. And um, so I just, I love what everything that it stands for. It makes me happy. Um, hello. Hi, everybody watching. Movie called It About a Clown. Hi, Kelly Brown. Has anyone watched the movie? Hello, Jackie, Rosie, Bobby, Lombardi. Thanks for spreading this set. Yeah, the sass. Hello, Amy. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Guys, if you're new to the Crafty Edge, welcome. We're so happy to let you be a part of this tonight. We hope that you'll consider following us. I am a late night crafter, um, hence why I'm here at, at midnight, <laughs> because I, I'm always on at midnight anyway. So, um, I am always on by 10 central time. Um, that's my That's my time. And, or, well, I'm not always on at that time, but I'm on close to that time. Um, sometimes I run late and I don't make it. Hello, Laura. Hello, Kimberly. Hello, Stella. Hello, um, everybody that is new and everybody that's regular. I'm so happy to be here with you guys. And um, I hope that you enjoy um, our transformation. I am a junker. I love to shop for junk with you guys. And then we come in every night and we remake the stuff that we buy together. We remake it together. That's what we do every single night. That is our, that's our deal. That's what we do. So look how adorable that guitar is already on the back. Is that not just adorable? Show Beth some love and share publicly. Thank you, Sandra Jones. Thank you, thank you, thank you. My sweet love. Um, okay, I'm going to just do this. And then I'm going to take this just like that. And I'm going to just keep this coming around. Um, I just want to finish it off. And then I'm going to add a different napkin to the neck of the guitar. Um, that just doesn't want to lay down. Um, it's got a little bit of a bubble here, a little lip. So this is being a little horsey. You know what? Guys, I don't really get caught up in the small stuff. I don't sweat it. Um, it is what it is. It's craft. It's not that serious, right? Um, sometimes things work and sometimes things don't work. Um, you can't sweat it. You just got to go with it and let it be what it is. Um, I'm going to tear that part off. Because, uh, well... That didn't work out as planned, but that's okay. Again, I'm going to make it work because I rarely let a create. I, I'm one of those creators that don't let many crafts beat me. I'm pretty stubborn when it comes to my creating. I um, don't really give in very well. I pretty much have a mind of my own, and I expect uh, whatever I'm working on to conform at some point. <laughs> Usually I win. I'm not much on... Uh, on it not conforming to what I want it to be. Um, so, we'll see. Maybe we'll see. Maybe this will be the one that beats me. I don't think so. Not today. Not today. It's sick and all. I've had this sinus infection for a few days that I've been battling. Um, but I am feeling a little better. Hopefully, it's done and gone and away. Okay, I'm going to get all that off the table. Now, the napkin I'm choosing for... The neck is going to be I Love America. And I hope that it will fit. And I'm just going to repeat that all the way across the top of that. Hello, Sissy. Hello, Haley. Um, how is everybody? How is everybody? Hi, Rosanna. I'm making it with Mimi. Hi, sweet sister. Says Kelly Brown. Hi, Jeanette, Janice. I'm a night owl craft watcher, craft watcher. Hi, Julie Worley. Um, so, this is my napkin. I believe I got this napkin from, um, I believe that came from Marcy uh, in Odessa. 
Mm, hello, hello. Hi, Bonnie. Hi, Kelly Brown. What's up, sister? All right, now I'm going to take my liquid wax and I'm going to go right across, just like so, right across my little guitar handle. And I'm going to work this all the way down it. Um, it is how I want this to go. So we'll see if it fits. I'm going to try to make it fit. Um, I may lose a little bit of the eye. I may lose a little bit of the, in different parts of it. Um, but that's okay. It's going to go all the way down. And then it's going to, I'm going to repeat the, at the very end, I'm going to repeat it. Um, that's got a little space right there that needs to be. So we're just going to keep going with it. Now, when you are Mod Podging, make sure that you are coloring your business with a light color. Whatever you're Mod Podging, because listen, it will not showcase what you're doing if you do not. It will not showcase it whatsoever. And it's important if you want whatever you're doing to come out well, um, your napkins, the lighter, the better, the paint. The lighter, the better. The lighter, the better. Um, so I'm going to get a, my, my little... Uh, because this has got a sharp edge to it, it's tin. It's going to be... Listen, the one thing also I love about my, my medium of choice, which is liquid wax matte, is that it really gives you clean cuts on what you're doing. It gives you super clean cuts. So you can take your napkin... Get it real wet at the end, your brush, and then you put a little pressure on your napkin and you tap with a wet brush and it literally gives you the cleanest, most beautiful cut you could ever want on your napkin. Look at that. Is that not insanely amazing? It is amazing. It is a clean, clean, beautiful cut. They're not always perfect, but it, it takes... You know, I have learned as a creator, my time is valuable. And this takes a lot of the sanding and a lot of the work out of it for me. So I don't have near as much work if I do that than I, as I do if I don't. So I will probably go back and sand a little bit, but I'm not going to have to sand that much once I get it to dry. Okay? So let me show you what I've got so far, and then I'm going to go back over to this other end, and then this will be done, and we will turn it around. See, it says, I love America. Isn't that cute? So cute. Um, what brand is the liquid wax? Rhonda. The liquid wax is in my link down under Brooke Shamir is my admin. It's Plaster Paint Company, and it is my medium of choice. Um, the coupon code is CRAFTY if you're interested. And when you go in to find the liquid wax, it will pull up liquid wax gloss. Then once you click on it, it will give you the option, do you want gloss or do you want matte? And that's when you decide. You can get it in gloss and you can get it in matte. I personally prefer it in, um, I prefer it in matte. Um, it's just a preference. You can, anybody that tries it, um, everybody has their own preference on whatever they like. But if you use this as a Mod Podge medium, um, several people on here can testify. It's a game changer. An absolute game changer. All the plaster paint is a game changer. Um, it is a phenomenal product. Every single thing that they, they have is phenomenal. All right. I'm going to tap, 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 tap. Um, it really is a game changer. I'm just pulling this off the e around the edge. And you want to make sure it's tucked, not got a little bit of a tuck. You want to make sure it's flat in, like when you're Mod Podging, um, decoupaging. You know how you want your, you don't want them to be up. You want them to be laid in flat to whatever. Um, you're doing. So that kind of did a little bit of a tear 
Look, guys, the thing is this. It's a craft. I don't get, I don't sweat it. I'm telling you, I don't sweat it. Um, you don't, you shouldn't sweat it either. It's not the end of the world. It's fixable. Maybe, maybe it's not. Who cares? If it's not fixable, it's going to be fine. I'm going to take this where it cracked and I'm going to go over it with this one particular napkin and I'm going to go over it just like so. And then I'm going to take the napkin and I'm going to tear it off and let it just kind of cover that. It doesn't matter. I'm going to take that and just release it and see what happens. I don't know. I think that's going to make it worse. I think I'm going to put a whole napkin over the top of it. I don't know. Maybe I'll put a star on it. We'll see. Let's see how that looks. Maybe I'll put a star on top of it. No, I don't like the star either. So we're just going to have to get another napkin. It just is what it is. Sometimes that happens. Sometimes that happens. Hello, Teresa. Facebook won't let me comment. You're welcome you tonight. Oh, it's okay, Teresa. I, it's letting you comment because we just see your comment, girl. So I'm going to tear it off just like so. I'm going to take this part off. Look, took that off. That's all we need. And then we're going to lay this on top of this one. I'm going to lay it on top of there. So it is going to look a little too twofold. And at the end of the day, it's fine. It's not a big deal. Guys, I think everybody gets in the habit of overthinking it. And I guess, you know, I'm not a perfectionist. So probably for me, it's easier not to overthink it. Uh, than someone that is a perfectionist with their creating. I'm just not. I don't have time to be a perfectionist. It's not how I'm wired. Um, I just want it to be, of course, I want it to be good. I want it to look nice. Um, but I'm not going to get all twisted up over it. It is just a creation that is um, not the end of the world. I think there's so many bigger things right now in our world that, you know, this makes me happy to do. But it is not going to be, it's not going to manipulate me or make me feel stressed out over it. And, um, don't get, don't get it all twisted guys. It's a craft. Um, just enjoy the process. Some things work better than other things and it's okay. Okay. So this is done. This is what we got. This is what we got. So that's just the back. That's just going to be the back. I love that napkin. Thanks Blanca. Hi Hillary. Poor thing. That's awful. You go, girl, just close your blinds. What's wrong? Hi, Cherokee. How are you? I haven't seen you in forever. Hello, Linda George. I love it. Thank you, Blanca. So, this is the back, and I want to dry it a little bit before I lay it over and get started on the other side. Hi, Mar Hi Marlene. Um... That's really cute. Thank you. So stinking cute. Thanks, Marilyn. I want it to be good and dry before I move on because you know how it goes. Um, it'll stick to the paper and then I will be upset. <laughs> um, but, and I should have probably done this part, but I wanted to show y'all and share it with y'all. So I kind of wanted to make sure y'all were in on it. So, Oh, thanks, Connie Keller. How are you? Hello, hello, everybody. Can I comment just under anyone else's name? Oh, that stinks. Thanks, Priscilla. Raid says ma making it with Mimi. Do we have a? Do you have somebody in here that needs to be got rid of? Thanks, Sandra Jones. Hi, Linda. Guys, if you're not a member of the Crafty Edge, if you're not a follower, please consider doing so. You will not regret it. You never know what's going to go on up in here. Uh, we have a good time together. Looks great. I love it. Thanks, Nora. Hi, Bobby. Hi, Jude. Hello, Lynette. Hi, Caroline English. Hello. From the front, the way it looks. I love the front the way it is. <laughs> uh, William Tyler, hey. Yes, I remember you. Are you over at Lori Goss? <laughs> William Tyler, he has uh, directed me in a few movies. Actually, just maybe one. Was it just one, Tyler? Um, 
and I'm bitter because it never got made. Don't even talk to me about that, Tyler. I worked hard in that movie for him. It hurt my heart that it got, it got and a, a computer went south, and you know, it is what it is. Hi, Bobby. Hello, Jackie. Hi, Leslie. Hi, uh, Tyler. Tell Mark hello. I know Lori must be with you, too. Lori's got to be on. Sometimes she watches me all the time. Um, hi, Amy. Love. Just go with it. And love watching you all. Thanks, Amy. Uh, spreading that sass. Thank you so much. Welcome, everyone. Hi, Nani. Hello, hello. I was told this was the show to <laughs> Well, you know, 18,000 followers. Almost 18,200 followers. What can I tell you? Um, when you got it, you got it, Tyler. When you got it, you got it, dude. You were great, and yes, it upsets me. It happened to that. I know. That was a good film, dude. Um, I pulled a lot of my emotions out in that movie. My mom had died not too long before we did that movie, and I had to cry a lot in the movie. Anyway, it was a lot of emotional exhaustion. I'm just telling you. Uh, yeah, Laura, Laura, why did you tell him to get on here? <laughs> that is so funny. Hi, Kim Fuentes. Uh, we are, uh, I'm just getting this dry because I don't want to flip it over and it to get um, messed up. I don't want it to get messed up. And you got it. <laughs> I do got it. I think I got it. Uh, I found my niche, though. I don't, I, don't, I don't care about movies anymore. Hello, Virginia. Hi, Sharon. How is everybody? Okay, so this is the back of our guitar. We are in an Independence Day event, so that's why we're doing um, an Independence guitar. This is the front of it. I did get this thrifting. Um, it's a, it is a, aluminum, and I had all kinds of thoughts on what to do with this guitar. And I thought to myself, once I started playing around with it, I'm like, yeah, I think this is how I'm going to go with it. Um, so, y'all bear with me um, and hope that it doesn't stick to anything. I'm going to be so mad if it sticks. So mad. So, I'm going to paint the star just a little because I'm going to put a, a um, couple of things on here, embellishments. So, um, I want, I'm going to put a napkin on here as well. But I am going to leave some of that star showing. It is not all going to be covered. But I want my napkin, you know, if you don't do light, your napkin will not showcase well. So you want to make sure. So we're going to do that right there. Um, I have all kinds of embellishments. So, yes, I took apart a napkin. Oh, Chive. What the heck? Okay. Um, this was not a napkin. This is a, another piece of thin tin. I got this from um, from a piece that was a 4th of July piece that I was like, really did not like. But I liked some of the elements on it. So I went ahead and got it off. And I was like, you know, I'm going to use this in here. I'm going to use this on here. Hello, hello, everybody. And then we're just going to start adding elements to this guitar, and we're going to make it. Uh, I do have one hour on the event. We will go live on the Crafty Edge after this is over. Um, but we need to get this event on the road. Now, I'm going to put this Little America. I did get these at Hobby Lobby. Um, I guess I got them this year. I don't really remember. For sure, but I am doing my liquid wax mat. I'm doing my liquid wax mat, taking my diamond dust, and I am going to diamond dust my um, my little America. So I'm going to just take my little diamond dust, get it all on there good, and bling up some of the stuff that we're going to do. So then I've got my little America, and my America is going to go on here. Now, I don't know how I'm going to get it in there. See, when I plan this, I don't know. Hang on, guys. i got to take this off. This is not going to work like I wanted it to work. I don't know. I put this on here a certain way. I played it out. Played with it. I know it works. 27 minutes left. Okay. Whew, pressure. I am the last one in the event, so I think if I go a smidge over, I might be okay. 
But there's where it goes, right there. Right in there. No, what the heck? Beth, what in the world? Guys, I had this on here where I wanted it, and now I don't remember to save my life where it went. Maybe like that. America is going to go on that. And then we're going to put napkins uh, in the corners. So we're going to do the truck napkin on here up at the top. We're going to do this little napkin with the wheelbarrow or the wagon and all the uh, fun things that go with that with a little bird on it. I'm going to put that up here uh, with the 4th of July right there. And then we're going to do something over here. I'm going to do the star. It says uh, red, white, and boom. I'm going to do that on my star. Um, and then we're going to put a napkin over here. We need to decide which one. And then I have these stars that I got from, um, from that one piece where I got some of these other elements that I don't like. And I'm like, oh, I like those stars. I'm going to add the stars. So I can go ahead and add the stars. Let me get this little bit of nail off of that. And then I'm going to take my um, liquid wax again, and I'm just going to go on my star, and I'm going to paint it, and then I'm going to diamond dust it. I'm going to diamond dust the star. Make it a little blingy, and then I'm going to take my stars, and, oy, that needs to be dusted. Um, oh, I didn't know that was a thing. Sandra, do this with a friend. You didn't know what was a thing? Didn't know that was a thing. I don't know what was a thing. I don't know what we're talking about, so I don't know what was a thing, girl. Um, we could do the flag. Um, let's see what else I have. I have several napkins out to see what we want to use. Um, this one would be cute with the flag. This flag, I think, would be better right here. Uh, America the Beautiful, or it just has I Love the USA. I don't know. I don't know. I like those better, though. Um, a church. What about lavender? Hello, Deborah. Hello, Lily. Guys, welcome, welcome, welcome. So, I'm going to take my hot glue, and I'm going to put these stars all going across the, um, the neck of the guitar. The neck of the guitar. And so I'm using my liquid wax on all of the star. And I'm going to diamond dust it all up. Because we, you know, we got to have a little bit of bling. Because, you know, why not, why not? Why not have a little bit of bling? And we're going to just keep adding those all the way down. Uh, let me keep those going. Uh, cool napkin you using. Cool napkins you're using. Thanks! I've been really blessed. Uh, lots of people bless me with lots of napkins. And so I've had some really great ones. And honestly, I haven't done a single 4th of July event or a single 4th of July project. Uh, don't ask me why. I, I, mostly because I'm a, I, I redo thrift stuff. So I don't really do a lot of crafting, crafting. Um, so not that I don't love to craft. And sometimes I do craft. It's just mostly... I'm not a crafter. I'm a... Okay, so see, now I've got this little issue with this thing again. That thing is getting in my way, peeps. So I didn't judge my... Oy. Did not judge my deal very well. So I'm going to put that one there. And I'm going to play around. We have to put this America somewhere else. This just isn't going to work right here. So maybe this America could go down here. I don't like it down there. Golly, that's frustrating. So frustrating. I don't know. I'm gonna leave that right there for this this second, and then I'm gonna get my I'm gonna get all my um, my napkins on, and then we'll go from there. Uh, event like when I event. Yeah, I don't really do events much. Um, I don't. I, I used to. I used to do events, but I'm just not doing events as much. Um, I kind of got away from them. I kind of got overboard. I, I don't like re being restricted and not being able to go live whenever I want to go live. So, 
Um, that was kind of a thing for me, um, to be honest. And that was one reason I kind of stepped away from them. I'm going to let that dry while I do this, this napkin. Um, so that was kind of a thing for me. But, I mean, I was excited when she asked me. I was like, you know, I haven't done one in a minute. Um, I'll get my toe wet and see how it goes. Get my toe wet and see how it goes. And so, see, I was so sick today. It didn't matter. I wouldn't have gone live anyway. So, um, it all worked out great. Um, but I don't really like the restriction of, of the, and it's, and it's a respect issue. Um, and it's a hundred percent the way it has to be when you're in an event, you don't want to disrespect the people that are in the event. They all work really hard too. And you want to make sure that they, you know, you're not intruding on their, their time and people taking people away from them. So you're kind of all in it together. So that's the whole point of it. So, um, I try to be supportive of that. Um, so, there's that. There's that. That's kind of my thing, my, my spiel on it. But it's kind of been fun. I mean, I've enjoyed it. It's something different. And every once in a while, that's a good thing, right? Okay. Let me get this kind of taken off where I need to. Because it's kind of drippy. Uh, where the oh, HUVA. It's just never easy. It's never easy, peeps. Um, I'm going to pull this away gently, gently. And then I'm going to diamond dust this star, this star, too. So I want that diamond dusted, and I'm tucking it in and making it lay down. And there we go. Okay. Let me hold it up so y'all can see it. Um... Hello, Donna. 23 cases of monkey pox and kit. Yeah. Shocker. Hmm. Where would they get monkey pox from? So, there it is. It says, boom. It helps to get more people, new people, to see what you do. Yeah, it does. It does. Um... It does help with that. It, it really does help with that. But, you know, there for a while, I was just, our numbers were crazy. And I was like, I'm just, it's just, it's better for me to be able to go live when I want to go live than to be restricted. And again, I respect why you're restricted. You, it, it is what it is. It, it's 100% legitimate. But I don't want to be tied to that. Thanks, Amy. Oh, thank you, Nina. Nina, are you back? Nina, are you back? They're peepers. They're peepers, Nina. Nina, are you home? Nina Meyer, she just went on the most fabulous trip. Uh, Pamela Kearns, I'm in Kentucky, and I haven't heard that. That's probably because I refuse to watch the news. Yeah, me too, girl. Me too. I'm just over it. Just such garbage, all of it. In my opinion, I I don't believe a word any of them say. Not a word. Not a word. Not a one of them. Not a one. That's a whole nother story, though. So let's not go there. Um. All right. I'm just want to make sure that I'm covering up. The white part that I put down. Because I don't want white all over, right? I want white just in certain areas. Um, so I don't want white to show everywhere on the napkin. And I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. Um, you're going to see the difference. And I'm going to show you. You're going to really firsthand get to see what I'm talking about. As far as um, the difference between the napkin with white behind it. Um, me either. Sorry, I thought when you said it didn't have time, you weren't in the event thing. Oh, you're good. I am in the event. I am in an event. Um, I don't get, I don't do events often, but this time I did for Victoria. I adore her, and she asked me, and I was like, sure, I'll do it for you. I'll do it for you. She's a sweetheart. She has supported me through some of the craziness I've gone through lately with this people. Uh, 
And so I was like, yes, I will support you for supporting me. Because it's a big deal when you need people to support you and stuff like that. And they're willing to do it. Okay, so now this is what I wanted to do. I wanted to make sure of that little turkey right there is being horsey. Okay, so I'm going to take a little bit of the napkin that I um, poured from, hang on, and I'm going to put a smidge of it up here on the white because I want the white to be covered. So I'm going to take the, um, just the sky part, just the blue, and I'm going to just put it on there, just the blue so that that white is covered. And I'm just going to tuck it down a little bit and you'll see. I'm going to show you. Okay, so there's my first section of my guitar. See, it's got the little 4th of July. It's got all the little stars on the handle. And then I'm going to go back over this uh, star, the star, and I'm going to bling it. I want the star to be blingy. So I'm going to get it a little more liquid wax on the star, and I'm going to go around, and I'm going to bling up the star. Now, here's my plan. Who knows if it'll work, but I'm going to try it. I don't want the center of the stars to be so much clean. I want the edges mainly. And I don't know if this will work. It probably won't. So I'm going to hold it up a little bit so I can get what I want. And um, I don't want to really 100% cover up the words. So I'm not going to go nutso with it, okay? And I don't want... So here's what I got. So we got the stars are all blinged out on our guitar. Isn't this stinking cute? It's going to get better. It's going to get better, but i got to keep working because time is running out. I talk too much and don't work enough. Um, okay, so I'm going to go with on here, um, I think I'm going to put the 4th of July on this particular I don't really want to cover it up too much. Um, I don't know. I don't know. We'll go back with the words and we'll see. We'll see about the words. Um, I got to get the, the biggest one to me, the most important one, is this one. Is my, um, my truck. I want my truck on there. I don't know. It kind of reminds me of, I don't know why. It just reminds me of something. I like it. I like the truck. One of the stars fell off. Uh, I see it. It's in the floor. I'll get it. Hi, Vicki. Holy hello. I tore the truck. Are you kidding me right now? I tore the stinking truck. Dadgummit. Y'all, I'm going to have a meltdown if that was the only truck napkin I had in here and I tore that whole thing. I cannot believe that's the only truck napkin I had. You got to be kidding me right now. Yeah, you know, it's all good. I'm not going to I'm not going to lose an ounce of sleep over it. Oh, here we go. This one's fully intact. I was about to say, what in the ever living hello did I just do? What did I just do? Um, hello Bless Sissy's Lavender for stress. Now I call Sissy Miss Lavender and eat out law. Hello, Cynthia. Use it, she says. I'm going to use it. I'm going to use it. I, I, found the, I found a whole one. I don't need the whole one, actually. i got to cut some back anyway. But um, i got to decide what elements I do like and the things that I really want that are important to be in it. Uh, and I like my... This is why I like to use my water pens, because I like mine to look wispy and edgy. I don't want them, no pun intended, I don't want them to look, um, I don't want them to look crisp and uh, I like the edges to be a little tattered. I don't want them to look all 100% off. I want them to be a little tattered. So I take my water pen and I just do a little here and a little there. And we'll get this off, and then I'll lay it on, and we'll we'll paint it. we got to paint it, because we got to have the white. Because if you put it on the red, 
It's not going to showcase the napkin. It's not. It's not going to showcase the napkin. Okay, the watermelon is important. It's an important piece. Um, I don't know that I got all the back of that off, so we got to get our tape. Um, 15 minutes. Oh, no pressure. Uh, I love rough edges, too. Me, too, girl. Me, too. I don't want anything to be straight across. So, I'm going to put this in here like so, just like that. I want all of those elements on there. So, um, I'm going to take my... I'm going to take that there and that there, and I'm going to go straight across. And I'm just going to get that on there. And I, it doesn't have to be the best coat of the wear in the world, right? Um, it just does not. And let me make sure that I got... I did not. It's important that you get... Um, Brooke says I have 10 minutes. Actually, I think I'm the last one. I think it's okay if I run over, Right? I think Victoria went to bed, but I'm sure she would be 100% okay with it. So, I've got, you have to get all your backs off, right? Um, we'll be close. We're going to be close. We're almost finished. And then I'm going to go ahead and get my napkin over here. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to cut it. I'm not going to cut it. I'm going to, we got to decide which one we're going to use. I'm going to put this on, and I'm going to see which one I love. Um, so, I'm going to take that across there, just like so. And we're going to see which one of these we love. Do we want America the Beautiful or do we want the heart? I don't know, but for some reason I feel like the heart is, um, guys, I don't know. I'm kind of torn. I'm not going to lie. I'm torn. I'm torn. Um, Let me see. Let me get my tape. Um, the heart says Amy. The heart says Jody. Yeah, I feel like the heart kind of seems like a like a rock and roll thing to do. I don't know. The heart seems rock and roll, right? It seems uh, very much. Uh, I'm trying to get the extra napkin off of here. Come on. Ay yeah. So, we're going to do the heart. Okay. Um, and I'm going to put it like that. So, I need to kind of go over and under with this brush. Okay. Now, I'm going to take my glue, my heat gun. Sissy, Francis, that's just girl. You brought a lot of these are contact. It works on the charm best. At church, you two are a who. I'm pleading the fifth and trusting the process, says Hillary. I like the heart. Me too. You're pleading the fifth and trusting the process. You don't like it? You don't like it, Hillary? Seriously? <laughs> She's pleading the fifth. Well, you got it. She's honest. She don't gotta love it. That's okay. I can, you know what? Everything can't be for everybody. It cannot be for everybody. Totally, Beth. Rock and roll. That's right. That is right. Rock and roll. So I'm gonna put this on here. I'm gonna use my liquid wax. And we're just gonna get this bad boy in. Get it on. Get it on. Get it on there. And then we're gonna do this. The paint that we don't want on there will come off really easily. The paint that we don't need, so I'm, I'm just getting it a little wet, and I'm taking my fingernail, and I'm just pushing it back, right? 
because we don't need all that paint out there. Okay. Okay, now let's get this on here and get it going. Um, I don't know. What is the best way to cover all that up? I'm going to have to take some of that paint off, so I need to get some paint up here. So I'm going to try that real quick. Kick off, stuff like that. She get kicked off for stuff like that. Fourth of July, rock and roll. What's more American? Seriously, nothing is more American than rock and roll. Nothing. That's what I say. Nothing is more American than rock and roll. Okay, we're going to just go with it like that. Um, I don't need that on there. I don't know why I put that there. All right, I'm going to just get this on, and I'm going to just go with it. Oh, my gosh, guys. This is going to be stinking cute. Okay, I am, don't worry, going to get rid of the paint, and we're going to start adding in a little more embellishments. Okay, let's let that heat up, and then we're going to add things in here so that um, there's, I've got 4th of July, I got fireworks, we got freedom, um, so I want to add elements in to our, into here, that, but I don't know where I want to add them yet. I'm going to just put things in and see how the, I feel about it. I really had this little banner all planned out, and, um, but it doesn't really work the way I have it planned out. So, who knows? I guess I could put it across, but I don't really want to do that. So frustrating. So frustrating. Um, I could take this heart off. This stinking. Let me take these off. And I'm going to move them down. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to move these bad boys down. Uh, down further on the, on the guitar. And then that way I can put what I need to put where I need to put it. And the stars won't be in the way. I think that's the best way to do it. Okay, get those on there. Yes, boss. <laughs> Are you talking about uh, what's his whistle? Oh. He's gone a little nutso, but it's too bad. What's his whistle has gone just a little smidge nuts, but that's okay. Who hasn't gone nuts these days, I guess, right? The boss. A little off the rocker for me, but he's a talented man. I'll give him that. He is a talented, talented man. Okay, so I'm going to get some more glue. Uh, turn the banner the other way. I think I got it figured out, actually. So the banner is going to be across the, the uh, guitar. top. And then we're going to add in these elements. So there's, fourth, like I said, 4th of July, Freedom, Fireworks. So I'm going to add America. We've already got America, so we've got Freedom. So we got to see what, spree, what speaks freedom to us. Is it the, the flag speaks freedom to me? So I don't know if I should put that across the truck. Freedom. Fireworks down here, July. Um, I don't want to cover up. Hmm. Fireworks, freedom. Let's do fireworks down on that part. I don't know if I want to cover up that. I think I'm going to be done. I think I'm going to be done. I am going to go back and get some of this off with a little bit of a sander. Or, actually, I may do it the other way I was doing it. Let me get it wet. And then let me go back in and scrape it back. And then we'll show y'all. 
I don't want all that extra paint where I didn't need it, right? So all I'm doing is wiping it off. I'm just wiping it off. And it's going to be just bueno. It's going to be great. So we're just going to take it off. It just comes right off of it. So we're just taking that paint right off where it doesn't need to be. Just where it doesn't need to be. It looks good, Beth. Thanks, Victoria. I thought you were sleeping, girl. I thought you were supposed to be asleep. Is that the right, Victoria? I don't know that it is. I think it's Victoria. I'm not sure. I can't read the name. Uh, Victoria, I think it's Clark. Victoria Clark. That uh, I'm pretty sure. I don't think that's her. Um, so I'm just going to take my napkin that I'm not using, and I'm going to try to get some of this paint off with it. I'm just working it up and down and back and forth because we don't need the paint on the sides where it doesn't belong. So I'm going to show y'all what it looks like. And I could sand it, and I may have to. We'll see. But my fingernail does a pretty good job. Of course, when I go live in my... Uh, that's when I get criticized for all the crap around my hands, the paint and stuff. I'm like, I'm a working girl. I'm sorry. I scrub my hands and I'm a, I am paint every night. I do all kinds of stuff. I'm going to have crap in my nails and I paint and I scrub and I do all the things and sometimes you just can't get it off and it's not that big of a deal, people. But, you know, people like to be something to complain about. All right, make sure y'all are following all these wonderful crafters. I hope y'all have had a great day watching these fabulous creators. Um, I know there's lots of people that were in here. And I, people work really hard on this event, guys. So, show the love. Show the love. All right, let me show you what we got. So, this is our finished product. How cute would this be hanging on... A, um, and this is the back. How cute would this be hanging on a, um, on a, on a deal? So, here's my last little bit of, we could put firework down here, in here somewhere, if we wanted to. Totally, that would be cute. I got some ribbon with a little thing on it. So, um, I don't know if I want to use this. I got this at the wholesale store. Isn't that cute, though? Um, and I've got these little um, these little blue stars. All I had was red ribbon. I didn't have any black, any blue ribbon. But, so look, you can make your ribbon. Make it all one fabulous. Uh, try to get it even. And then we could tie a bow with your ribbon. And you could tie it. Actually, I'm going to tie it onto this. What? We lost a piece of ribbon. Hang on. Hang on. Let me get my ribbon all properly done. Tie your ribbon on to your little... You know how they always have those crazy things hanging off their business. Guitar players and whatnot. So, um, I'm going to take my ribbon and I'm going to tie it into a bow, I think. I don't know if I'm going to tie it in a bow. I may just leave it in a, in a, whatever, who knows what I'm going to do. Uh, Beth, I bought Sassy to Life. <laughs> so, you could put streamers on, and I personally would take the streamers to the back and let them fall to the front, at the bottom, down there, like so. So, you could take your streamers, just like that, this would be so cute on a, um, on a, uh, on a door. So you could take your little stars and wrap them around. Amen, sister. I love it. Thank you. I've got another star that we could put in here for, uh, grand. Since I don't have any blue, how cute is that? We can put the little firework in front just like so, and you could hang this on your front door, or you could hang it off across a bench, or whatever, makes your little heart happy, um, 
but it's something so different and so ouch hot 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 oh it's beautiful thanks sandy hello julianne oh my lanta i just burnt the hello low out of my eve tyler what what a mess Hmm. Thanks. Isn't that cute? And if you, I mean, it's kind of reversible. It's kind of reversible. Um. Anyway, uh, we are past time. We have 279 on there. Jody, don't worry about Eve. She's pathetically sad. And if she's got nothing better to do than to troll people's pages, then let her troll. That's okay, honey. It, it, I'm a mess with 18,000, 200 followers, honey. How many do you have? So you can just kick rocks and keep passing on. There's a thing called scroll. Why don't you try it? Goodbye, Felicia. Um, can you not hear you? Cannot hear you. Absolutely adorable. I only got to watch a few of the events today. I was on all day. I'm able to catch Cindy's popsicle. Oh, I, um, her screen is flipped. It's it's perfect. Thanks, Amy. Love the patriotic project. Kathy Harris, no camera isn't flipped. Um, my camera is not flipped. Um, I don't use. I don't do the flip camera. Kathy, no camera is not flipped. Hello, Peggy. Must be on your end. Um, hello, Thelma. Freaking amazing, Beth. Thank you, Hillary. Uh, thank you, Betty. It is adorable, and it is different, you know. You could always add something else to it. If we wanted to add the little hat in, you could put the little hat on there with the firework and the ribbon and all the things. Um, I love it, Beth. We all know it's a mess. We all know Beth's a mess, but she's our mess. Um, yeah, and... I'm a successful mess. I don't know about anybody else, but she don't like it. She can kick rocks. I don't care. Um, I love it. Reversible. Thanks. Oh, thanks, Blanca. Y'all, don't stress about that. There are ugly, nasty people everywhere. You can't fix stupid. Um, thanks. Thank you, Barbara. Barb, thank you. I love this. Thanks, Sarah. I do, too. I kind of like it. I feel like it. We all probably know who that was. Um, great job. Thank you. Thanks, Amy. Guys, if you're not following, please do. I think it's pretty darn cool. Thanks. Uh, follow the Crafty Edge. Obviously... The little firecracker is falling off. But anyway, you get the drift of it. You can put the ribbons anyway. You can do it all that you want to do it. Um, what group was that? I was on all day and I I can't go back. It's Victoria Clark, Marilyn. Victoria Clark. Oh, it's okay. I love the guitar. Thanks, Sandra Jones. Hi, Janet. Thank you. Uh, I love how you put it all together, put her in her play. <laughs> well, I used some of your napkins, Marcy. Ah, uh, great job. Happy for it. Thank you, Tina. I love the check is so be cheerful. She's gone. Thanks. Um, hello, Darlene. Kick rocks, rude. Ah, <laughs> uh, thanks, Etta. I mean, look, these are kind of a little big. I want to stick that where... That will support that underneath like that. And look, these need these ribbons need to be cut back and they need some love. But you know, I'm running out of time. I was trying to don't go to her levels as Diana. Um, that's so stinking adorable. Great job. Thank you. Um, all right, guys, listen, we are going to um get off of here and we're gonna go live on our page. I'm gonna hang up. And uh, we're on our page, but we're going to go back on our page. And um, I'm going to clean up my mess, get a few things gathered up, go get an Oreo and eat it. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. 
and go get a Dr. Pepper. Um, anyway, I love you guys. Thank you so much for being on this event with me. It was a lot of fun. Um, I know this is unusual and different, but guess what? That's who I am. I'm wonky, and I like weird wonky stuff. So, um, I'm all about it. So, I love you guys. I will see you on the Crafty Edge in about 10 minutes. Give me 10 minutes. Um, Elvis would love it, says Susan. You're going to go on the Crafty Edge now at 12.08. Yes, ma'am, I am. Yes, my Thanks, Claudia. Thanks, Laura. Thank you, Penny. Uh, Elaine is watching. Hello, hello. Um, thanks, Coriana. Um, all right, guys. I'm going to get cleaned up. And we're going to be live on the Crafty Edge in uh, 10. In 10 minutes, I'll be back, okay? Um, love you guys, and I will see you shortly. Oh, thanks, Gloria. Now, all we need is cool guitars to play this, as he beats.